Philippians chapter 1 verses 20 through 26 I can hardly wait to continue on my course. I don't expect to be embarrassed in the least. On the contrary, everything happening to me in this jail only serves to make Christ more accurately known, regardless of whether I live or die. They didn't shut me up. They gave me a pulpit. Alive, I'm Christ's messenger. Dead, I'm his bounty. Life versus even more life. I can't lose. As long as I'm alive in this body, there is good work for me to do. If I had to choose right now, I hardly know which I'd choose. Hard choice. The desire to break camp here and be with Christ is powerful. Some days I can think of nothing better. But most days, because of what you are going through, I am sure that it's better for me to stick it out here. So I plan to be around a while, companion to you as your growth and joy in this life of trusting God continues. You can start looking forward to a great reunion when I come and visit you again. We'll be praising Christ, enjoying each other. Father, thank you again for this awesome example of glorifying you in any circumstance. The deep-seated belief that, no matter what, the life you give is eternal. I sometimes can agree with Paul that it would be a hard decision whether or not to stay. The promise of seeing you face to face would complete a longing that our hearts possess from our beginning. On the other hand, the tasks you have directed will help us to know you. The more, the better. Continue your development in me so that I may see every moment through your eyes. Temporary is only for a moment. You have said this life on earth is like a vapor, here one moment and gone the next. Use me, Lord, to make the most of my moment. Amen.